One of the questions that we get all of the time is how in the world we can possibly organize our literacy intervention blocks or our literacy intervention sessions to align with the science of reading and fit all of these components in. We know that the research tells us there's a lot that goes into strong reading support. And so there's a lot of activities and not a lot of time. We know that it sounds like a lot, but it is not impossible. And today we're going to walk you through exactly how to organize your literacy block to align with the science of reading. Hi everyone, I'm Michaela from Ascend Smarter Intervention. And every week we jump in here to share tips, tricks, and resources to make literacy intervention easy and accessible. Make sure you follow or you subscribe so that you never miss these tips and tricks. And without further ado, let's jump into today's content. When we think about the science of reading, we know that these are the different components we need to be including in our lesson in order to target all of the skills needed for our students to make literacy growth. Everything from phonological awareness skills through to new skill introductions and word reading, vocabulary, fluency, comprehension, writing, all of these things need to be included in our lessons, and that feels like a lot. Notice I'm saying lessons and not sessions. Depending on your setting, we may need to split this up in different ways. When we work with students, we're typically in a one-on-one -on -one setting, but we've also worked with students in the classroom, so we will go through both different settings today. When working with students one-on-one, -on -one, we typically recommend going through as much as you can in a session, but sometimes we do need to split it up. When I do this, I split it into both reading and writing days. So if I have a student going through our CK phonogram, I'll do a whole session that focuses on CK applied to reading, and then a whole session that focuses on applying CK in writing. When we think about our reading sessions, these are the different activities that we'll include in order to target all five core components of literacy. We'll do a five part, five part phonological awareness drill, We'll go through some decoding review and syllable type review, as well as new word reading and phonics, as well as all of these other pieces. Our writing session should also target all five core components of literacy, but we do it in slightly different ways. Instead of fluency and comprehension at the reading passage level, we'll work on syntax and paragraph level composition for writing. We're still hitting all five core components of literacy, but these activities that we're doing look slightly different. If you are in the classroom and you need to split this up for shorter periods of time, but over the course of five days, as opposed to a session or two per week, you can absolutely do that as well. Typically we'll recommend splitting your activities into whole group and small group instruction so that you know what activities you can do full class and then what activities you will do in smaller groups, whether that's a literacy center or students that you pull. We also recommend having extension activities as well as modifications planned ahead of time so that you know you can differentiate up or down to meet the needs of your specific students. By scaffolding this up and down, you know that you're not going to leave anybody out. And by spreading it over the five days, they get that extended practice so that during your literacy intervention time or your literacy blocking class, you have all of the components that you need. Our last note is remember, you totally got this. Yes, there's a lot to include, but it's not impossible. And in order to help you do that, we wanna share this literacy planning guide or the literacy block planning guide with you so that you can put the activities into the days that you need, whether that's a full week or one or two sessions with a one-on-one -on -one student or small group. You can find that at the link below. And again, if you liked this video and found it helpful, we'd love for you to follow us or subscribe so that you never miss our tips, tricks, and resources. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and stay tuned for next week when we'll jump into our phonological awareness drills and how exactly you can integrate that into your literacy block. Thanks everybody, have a great week.